Okay, in that case we have to proceed with, um, now it's uh, 15.30 and Hanna, the bus is leaving at 5 o'clock, so we have 90 minutes to go and uh, we have a lot of items left, so let's continue with SIVA elections for 2014. And I will give the word, no, sorry, I will start uh, with the first because one of my proposals is that we go for to change what we have for the moment we have a one year term and I would like for the Bureau to ask the plenary that we should go to a two year term the thing would be that now we would vote for the president and for two vice presidents to be voted for two years and then also uh, the remaining two vice presidents will have one year term and next year there will be those two will be re-elected or uh, if there are other nominees that will be changed. So the first vote I will give the word to Mr. Hughes to arrange, do you need the microphone to Okay. You I have a microphone, but we haven't prepared this vote. You can make a proposal and do it by country panel. Okay. Do you accept to do it by country panel? Okay. In that case, we have the proposal from me that we should proceed from now on, as the majority of commissions do within. FAI that the Bureau is selected for a two-year term. As we will have then, as I said, not all delegates in the Bureau should be dismissed every year, so we will have a one year it will be three and one year it will be two. So in this case I would like to ask the delegates if you are in favor of the, my proposal to go to a two-year term, please raise your country panels. Twenty-four. Do we have anybody against? Anybody abstain? U.S. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Now we can continue with the ordinary voting, please. Thank you, Mr. President. You were talking about, uh, again, please wait for my instruction. The first election will be for SIVA vice presidents. We have four nominations. Uh, LG, you were talking about numbers one and four being elected for a one-year term, or effectively? Yes, uh, for two-year term, let's say that. For one year term, you were going to alternate. Yeah. So your plan was that for one, one and four for one year. The we, we have to work with our city FAI rules. Um, we can't vote members of bureau for a different term. So we can't say some of you for two years and some of you for one year, because it's against our city rules. So the the plan that we have is that we will now vote for Siva vice president. The people who finish first and fourth are one year, and the people who finish second and third are two year. And the way we do this is the people who finish first and fourth agree to step down after one year. That's, that's how we can avoid people complaining about it. Everybody happy with that? Do all the vice presidents agree, all the nominees agree with that? Does any of the nominations disagree with that? Right, we'll move on. So this is one of the multi-choice votes, and you can make up to four votes. So if you want to vote for all four, it's 1.2.3.4 cent. Okay, I'll open the voting now, so please vote. Has everybody voted who wants to vote? Okay, I close the voting and the results. Well, the answer is you are all elected with a majority, so congratulations. 
uh, because of the scheme that we just cooked up, numbers one and four, John Gayer and Nick Buckingham, you agree to step down next year to then enable alternate voting for Bureau. So you'll have to restand in 2014. John Gayer and Nick Buckingham will agree to step down in 2014 because they have all just been elected for a two-year term, but John and Nick will stand down after one year so that you then have alternate Bureau elections. Again, please wait for my instruction. You can see on the screen, this is for CVAC Secretary. It's up to two choices, so you can vote for nobody, or for one, or for two. If you want to vote for choices one and two, it would be one dot two send. For two and three, two dot three send. Okay, I open the voting now, so please vote. Okay, we're done with 25 votes. So I stop the voting and the results are... Hannah has 20, Maddie has 19 and Carol has 6. So I declare Hannah and Maddie the secretaries for 2014. Congratulations. Okay, we move on to the next election, which is Rules Subcommittee Chairman. There is only one nomination, which is Mike Hewer. You therefore have the choice to vote yes, abstain or no. So one for yes, two for abstain, three for no. I open the voting now, so please vote now. Has everybody voted who wants to vote? Okay, I stopped the voting and the result is overwhelmingly yes. Congratulations, Mike. 20 yes, 3 abstain and 1 no. Again, please wait. Now we have a slight uh, problem here. Rather than me waste time changing the vote, you will find Mike Hewer's Mike Hewer's name on the list. Of course he is now the chairman, so please do not vote for number three. It is a wasted vote. Okay? So this is for the members of the rules subcommittee. Please wait until I say. How you, many? How many? you pick up to five, five. Up to five from the seven candidates because candidate number three is not valid. Okay, so if you wanted 4 and 5 and 6, 4.5.6 send. I start the voting now, so please vote. Okay, I have all the votes, so I stop the voting and the results are at least the first round. Mathieu has 21, Alan has 20, Vladimir has 16, Jürgen has 15, and the rest don't have an absolute majority. So do we just, vote? Uh, just one moment to, to have time. Absolutely. Do we <laughs> vote for the absolute majorities or do we allow people in with 12? I need to check. Is it absolute majority, Mike? No, it's just the members. Top, top five. Okay, so I congratulate Mathieu, Alan, Vladimir, Jürgen and Philippe on being members of the subcommittee. Yes, there is only one nomination for judging subcommittee chairman, that is John Gallard. Again, one for yes, two for abstain, three for no. I open the voting now, so please vote now. Has everybody voted who wants to vote? So I stop the voting. And the good news is, John, they like you. Congratulations. 22 to 2 with no no's. So again, wait until I say, but this is for the judging subcommittee, up to five. First of all, can you please check that the nominations were accurate because we had some changes this morning? We still haven't opened the voting, so please wait. Okay, no changes, so I open the voting, vote for up to five. Okay, we have all the votes, so I stop the voting, and here are the results. Philippe has 19, Mikhail has 18, Brian has 16, and Vladimir and Matti both have 12, so they are the elected members. Congratulations. So, the one nomination is Alan Cassidy, one for yes, 
two for abstain, three for no. Please vote now. When we have all the votes, so we stop and it's overwhelming. Yes, congratulations to Alan. 24 yes, one abstain. Now, again, would anybody like to vote on this list? We would vote to approve the whole list. Does anybody want to vote? Okay, then those members are duly elected. Congratulations. This is, this is the list given to me by LG. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so there's, hang on, there's no voting. Does anybody want to vote on this? I was going to read my titles. My titles are irrelevant. I'm telling you, it's the World Advanced Aerobatic Championship in 2014. I've asked three times, so congratulations, Mike, you are the president of the jury. There will be two, up to two, no, there will be two members of the jury. We have six nominations, so you pick two from six. This is for the 2014 World Advanced Aerobatic Championships. Please wait until I say, but these are the nominations. One, Nick Beckenham. Two, Manny Delcroix. Three, Mike Aha. Don't vote for Mike. Mike is not on the list. <laughs> four is Philippe Kuchler, five is Jürgen, and six is Michael. So you have five candidates. Candidate number three is not valid. Do not vote three. You make up to two selections. Please vote now. Has everybody voted who wants to vote? And it ticks over to 25. So I stopped the votes. And the results are, Philippe has 12, Maddie has 11, Jesus <laughs> and it was only two, so it's you two, congratulations. So you choose one is Guy and two is John, please vote now. And we have all of the votes, so the result is John with 19, Guy with 6, congratulations John. Uh, we move to the 2014 World Glider Aerobatic Championships. The president of the international jury, there is one nomination, which is Maddie. Would anybody like to vote on that? The 2014 World Glider Aerobatic Championship. President of international jury, the nomination is Maddie. Nobody wants to vote, so congratulations, Maddie. So we move to the members of the international jury for the 2014 WGAC. There are three nominations. The three nominations are Carl Berger. Obviously, nomination number two is no longer valid. Kali Kempi or Marta Novitska. Thank you. So I'll, you pick two, up to two from the three. And nomination number two is not valid. So it's from one, three, or four. Please vote now. And we have 25, so I will stop. And the result is Carl with 17, Kai with 15, and Marta with 15. So we have to re vote. This is exciting. So now we're voting for one person out of Kari or Ma Marta. So three for Kari, four for Marta. Please vote now. I'm too short, so I'm going to close the voting now. And the result is Marta with 12 and Kari with 11. So Marta is the second member. Do not vote. Question. Yes, there's a question. What about the two from the same country? Uh, that's a Siva rule, I don't know. Okay. Go for ah, hang on. The general section rule. The general section states that you can only have one jury member per country. 
Well, I, my proposal would be we vote the person who receives the higher votes out of Nick and Alan is the one voted, elected, and then Jürgen gets to be in anyway. Okay. To be absolutely clear, you choose two from these three, and I still haven't opened the voting. You can only have one jury member per country, and both Nick and Alan are British, so whoever gets the higher vote out of those two becomes the jury member from GBR, and Jürgen will become the second jury member anyway. So really you're voting between one and two, but we'll do it properly, so you pick two out of those three candidates. I start the voting now, so please vote. Okay, we, we uh, have a situation, I've just noticed that there's one nomination for Chief Judge, which is Nick. So I looked at him and he said he would therefore withdraw from this election for jury member and would instead take up the post of Chief Judge or apply for the post of Chief Judge, which therefore makes this election unnecessary. We would have in that case uh, two nominations, Alan and Jürgen. I can rerun the election with just those two, but I'm asking, does anybody want to vote on Alan and Jürgen as jury members? Then you are the jury members for 2014 EAC. Congratulations. So 2014 EAC Chief Judge, Nick is the only nomination. This is for Chief Judge. Does anybody want to vote? Then congratulations, Nick. And the very last one. 2014 YAC 52 and Intermediate World Aerobatic Champion. <coughs> Did I say the wrong thing? No. Yeah, 52 and Intermediate. For President of the International Jury, there is one nomination, which is LG. Would anybody like to vote? The 2014 YAC 52 and Intermediate. <coughs> President of the Jury. Congratulations, LG. You're going to be busy. 2014 YAP 52 Intermediate Jury Members, you pick up to two from four. Please vote now. Just missing Anna, and we have the results are in, and the winner of the Eurovision Song. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we have noon one. Elena has 20, Alan has 14, with Pierre Reserve with seven. Congratulations to you two. Voting is not open yet. To vote for Guy is one, two is Nick, three is Pavel, and four is Matty. You pick one only, so you vote just the number for the one person that you want. Please wait. I've opened the voting, so vote now. Now it's stuck on 24, so I now close the vote. And look at that, well done. I close the voting with 25 votes, and the result is Pavel with 13. So congratulations to you. Um, well, that's, that's a real test of this system because that's more votes than we've had at the General Conference. A lot more votes than we had at the General Conference. So I'm very pleased. Thank you very much for your help. Don't forget to give me them back because they're no use to you on their own. Thank you very much. Okay, we are getting short of time, so I would like to do a proposal for the plenary. Uh, I would ask the plenary that we have for the two glider championships bid for 2015 and for the bid from for WAC for 2016 that we uh, give that to the Bureau to decide. So there are two bids, first for the glider next year, uh, 2015, there is one bid from Czech Republic, there is one, no there is two, one from uh, Czech Republic, one from Hungary, and we have then also for 2016 one bid from USA for WAC. So I would ask the plenary to give the authorization to the SIVA Bureau to handle these three Oh, these two championships with three bids in. Can we approve that? Uh, we will have a bureau meeting tonight on the ship going back, so we should
be able to uh, I will ask the Bureau, but I cannot say that we will have a, a definite decision, but otherwise I think we will scrutinize the bids, and uh, I would accept that we could do it within a week, is, if that is okay, Mike. Okay, if in that case I understand that uh, the planner has given the authorization to the Bureau to decide. Thank you.